Hi everyone. Now I have the honor of introducing to you a very high achiever from the Iniset May 2025, rank six, Dr. Philip Christie Peter. He is from Calicut. He has been a DAMS online student right from his second year. He has attended the DAMS app courses, and I believe that he is going to become a great pediatrician. I have already we were discussing earlier, and he's a very intelligent student and lots to learn from him. So, Dr. Philip, first of all. How did you Good react day, when you saw your name with rank six on it? I was really happy, sir. I know. And was that expected after the paper? No, sir. Since this year's paper was a bit on the easier side and the options are somewhat tricky, so we couldn't trust the recalls also because every recall was different. So I was hmm. not so sure about the rank, sir. and like uh, during the paper like what what did you tell yourself during the exam like when you were giving the paper like some people were saying the first block was little longer or little tricky ah yes sir what was your reaction uh, the first block was a little longer sir i took uh, i couldn't recall all the questions after completing them sir uh, the final block was relatively easier uh, with uh, simple questions like this investigation should be avoided in pregnancy uh, The sunburst sign is seen in which condition, like that all. So yeah. the final block was easy. Other than that, the options were tricky, sir. A, B, C, A, B, D, like that only. That was the tricky part of this. Do you think that uh, I I feel that in the initial paper that the type of questions where you have multiple combinations to be marked one plus two, one plus two plus three, they test your depth of understanding rather than your width of knowledge. They want you to be deep about that topic. Yes, sir. Uh, sometimes all the options will be correct, but uh, one of the option will be less correct than the other. So that will be the answer there. So uh, that kind of questions will be expected. So, Philip, I also want to know from you how many did you attempt in this paper? Sir, I attempted. Uh, I think one ninety, sir. One ninety, and like. was it that you left a little bit more in the first block or in the second block more and then you came up in the next two blocks or was it like a uniform in all four blocks uh in the first block i think i left four questions sir other blocks uh, it was almost uh, similar same and any particular you know strategy of time management you followed in this paper like or any particular strategy for mark for review any any thoughts about the attempting this paper because in such a paper the skill of doing the paper is also very important sir uh, while doing the first round of questions sir uh, then i used to uh, keep around uh, 8 to 10 minutes for revision of the questions so whatever that comes to my mind initially i used to uh, mark that as the answer then keep it for review And as the Ipti Ma'am used to say, uh, for like factual questions, uh, you don't you have to trust your instinct. And for clinical based questions, you have to review the question. So that's what I did, sir. So you use that avoiding silly mistake methodology that we discuss in our sessions uh, to you know go with the instinct yes, in the direct questions. Yes, sir. and also i feel it is very important not to be overwhelmed by the name of the paper like many students get overwhelmed ke it is any set the questions will be tricky while in real life they are like you know usual topics are being asked in the paper like they have a very yes, standard sir. style of the py they PYP. have a question subset and uh, then they keep twisting the options that's all yeah like for like we were discussing with another top ranker uh, earlier in this channel only that they ask pcos every time but they find something new ah uh, hi yes sir yeah so similar to that and uh, you know when did you start believing in yourself what was your turning point in your career or like were you always a topper kind of a student or you had a change somewhere during the line like how, how did your journey evolve sir i uh, took the dams uh, uh, online coaching sir from the second year uh in the mid second year covid struck and uh, we have to learn from home only uh, the college was closed and i used the dams platform for learning and in the third year i used to lay the standard textbook sir because uh the time was so less so i just used the standard textbook and third year i didn't prepare anything for the entrance examination and finally also i used the entrance coaching apps uh, just for professional exams only sir 
but i read the standard textbooks in uh, most of the year uh, professional years so i had based that other than that i didn't prepare for entrance exams uh, like from the third year and all okay i just uh, prepared so was this your internship attempt no sir last year also i attempted in physics sir i got a rank of 173 okay and then what made you give the paper again and you know, how did you make that come back uh that was a bit tricky sir i started preparing from january only so last year i got a rank of 173 i joined um, an institution for pg after that i dropped the seat because uh, it wasn't what i expected so i had little time for preparation from uh, so, this january so you know reason i'm asking you these questions is because there will be students in your boat like sometimes you join yes, a pg sir. branch and you don't you don't fit in so you know yes, at sir. times you have to take that brave decision and saying okay i'm not going to do it i'm going to repeat again sometimes yes, we, we don't take that plunge and we suffer for uh, next 3 years or 4 years what is your take on it sir if you think that you have to adjust to everything uh, because nothing is a better process but if you think that you won't be able to adjust at all uh, then it's better to drop and prepare again sir any particular teaching movement of you know dams or any time when you you were studying with us any teaching movement or any teacher you remember from your journey or any YouTube yes video? uh, uh i think uh, everybody knows uh, sumesh sir and uh, deepthi ma'am other than that i have to mention uh, sachin sir and uh, gaurav patel sir uh, these are the faculty i used to mention did did you enjoy your, their lectures and their way of teaching yes sir yes sir gaurav patel sir was amazing really amazing i think he is the best oh, sir, really. faculty in the country i think yes, his coverage and he is very yes, gentle sir. with the students he solves their doubts in the live class he takes time things. to explain the concepts and also solving the doubts sir i think he is the unique surgeon in that manner you surgeons are usually impatient he has a lot of patience <laughs> yes sir and which branch would you want to take i think pediatrics you said pediatrics what sir pediatrics and what was the earlier branch you had taken so that also was pediatrics sir okay so then it was not the branch but the place Ah uh, yes, sir. Uh, like I was doing the internship when I got the rank, sir, last year. So I was not mentally prepared to join a PG and all. So it was really different from what I experienced in my UG college. That's why I talked. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. And you tell me, what do you want out of life? Like you know, right now you are a rank six, and I'm sure you will get the branch of your choice in the place of your choice. Everything you want is open for you right now. How how do you want to you know build your career forward from here onwards now? Now you had your uh, share of up and down, and you know you had your share of you know mix mix up in life of you know picking up, dropping. You've done it. Now what would you want to do in life later on? Uh, like I want to have a clinical branch, and that's all I have in mind now. I haven't thought about it much. Hmm. So you want to enjoy the life of a clinician. Yes, sir. Yes, that's very good, actually. And you know, any observations about this year's papers, subject distribution? Like, did you feel that basic sciences were more, or it was the usual any set distribution of basic science, clinical science, less? What What was your observation, sir? I have attempted two uh, INI till now. Uh, last year, May INI and this one. So mm -hmm. last one was like I hadn't prepared much for that. I just. Uh, Uh, uh wrote the notes for many of the subjects and just uh revised it once so even then with the internship knowledge and the, the basic knowledge that you have within uh during the mbbs you'll be able to solve most of the questions you'll be able to rule out the options and you will be able to solve the questions this time it was like uh, even though the paper was easier the options were tricky and sometimes it will seem like all four options are correct even though the paper was simple uh, about 120 questions were uh, easier more other than that the rest of the questions were twisted and uh, really tricky sir that was the difference this year and uh, obg and all had a bit less representation compared to last year hmm. and i think they increased the short subjects so once they increased yes, the short sir. subjects a little bit irish like november exam the short subjects were very less so the other subjects get expanded so 
they they play with the weightage of the clinical subjects i think first second year they are always keeping more third fourth year yes, they are sir. playing with the subjects and and last year i think uh, uh, number of radiology last november it was not there last may i think in psm only two or three questions were there hmm yeah may psm they forgot actually the total yes, not only this time they started yes, with biostatistics and again which was the older yes, set pattern so they keep yes, playing sir. with the pattern of the third and fourth year subjects and and one thing that i always recommend to all the students is don't have that closed mind ke pichli baar biostats nahi aaya to ab ki baar bhi nahi aayega aisa mat karo you know they tend to come back ek baar nahi aata and then they come back with the biostats next time once they miss out on uh, last time they missed out on short subject this time they again have radiology 10 questions so it is like uh, you know they play with it and yes, uh, so i think what, what the reason they are doing it is because uh, they are keeping the topics very constant so they have to play yes, the pattern and the weightage otherwise the to- students like you will totally predict the paper only ha huh? so hello yeah can you hear me philip ah, yes, yes. Hear me? yeah so yes, i'm sir. saying the students like you would be totally be able to predict the paper if they don't play with the weightage ah the ini paper is heavily pyt based sir uh only the pattern of questions change that's all like uh, only the the way they present the questions hmm. and uh, what was your final month approach before the ini set uh i just uh, saw the revision video sir the rapid revision and all and the uh, transform 10x on the subject wise test and all so the subject wise test is especially great sir uh, especially the pediatrics and all Uh, we will be able to revise the entire subject and we will be able to know uh, in which areas we are short uh, and to uh, pay more attention on that so if i say in the final month your focus more was on high yield revision and testing do you think yes sir giving more tests makes you more sharper and was that the difference between your first attempt and this attempt that this time you were more sharp with more tests and probably you were uh, you also were aware of the pa- how the paper will feel like because you have done it before yes sir so uh, learning theory and the attempting mcqs are different sir so if you attempt more questions like that like uh, once you l- learn the theory options might seem familiar but you won't be able to distinguish between two options at all so for that you have to solve more questions sir and i think you have to sharpen the skill by giving yes, test and you know you keep focusing on the uh, final goal and also do you think that you know when you gave your paper for the first time you had like like m- what i feel as a student that when you appear for the initiate for the first time you don't know how you will perform and you got a rank of around 170 and this time when you were appearing you already knew that you know you are a top 200 person so what was that like confidence was there in your head no so i was just praying that i get a rank and get a seat that's all <laughs> do you have any any non medical hobbies to you know keep you grounded and keep you sorted in these difficult times ah uh, reading and also what do you what do you read usually ah uh, fiction only sir any book do you want to recommend or you recently read or you feel is very nice ah uh, even when i went to uh, my previous college i got one book from there delhi from delhi hmm uh, so that is what i used to calm myself and i think the decision that i took was wrong at all so uh, the reading was my only hobby uh, during this preparation time hmm. do you did you have like a zone where you felt that you know, like like you took a brave decision that you know you joined something you joined the branch that you are actually wanting to join then you changed your mind and you came back do you think uh, w- was there a f- you know zone where you found yourself little in self doubt and if yes how did you come out of it you come out big with a rank 6 now sir initially i left the place in uh, december sir from january i started preparing seriously so initially in the first month i was like really depressed was the decision i took uh, really great for me or was it a bad decision and after preparing and giving some gts and all i thought that maybe i could achieve a better rank next time so then the preparation went smoothly till the one week before the pre- exam sir then i started self doubting again 
and mm. how the exam go and all so even the rank 6 has self doubts and it is normal to have self doubts it is normal to you know uh, i would go a little bit further and say it is normal to have you know like decisions where you want to change your decision you want to come back it is okay we need to normalize all this because what is happening is students sometimes i see that they join a department or a field that they don't like and then they keep suffering for two years three years and then they say boss i should have changed so do you think uh, taking a brave decisions at times is a good idea rather than suffering for long time or you know what is your take on that Yes, sir. If you think that you'll be able to come up better, then it's better to leave the place than suffer for. Like uh, most of the persons I've seen, it's like uh, they decided to leave from the first month itself. But uh, since it was uh, two semesters over, then they decided to suffer for the rest of the two years. Like uh, sometimes it will be like that. We think that uh, conditions will improve further, but hmm. it will be same. So if you think that you won't be able to cope up. at all then it's better to leave but then there are no guarantees like you said that you know if yes, you sir. leave you can do it but there are no guarantees you know you you did it now and now we are in a better position to discuss but before the results you know you would have those butterflies in your stomach you know did i do right yes, or sir. you know am i in the right position or is it like a lot of mental strength that is required for this kind of competitive exams Uh, yes sir uh, i was uh, doubting myself a lot and uh, my parents were uh, really supportive for me uh, for the preparation and all so uh, you need to have such uh, support for preparing them a good circle of support with friends and parents and family always helps it cushions your yes, uh, acts like a shock absorber hello Uh, are you able to hear me it acts like a shock absorber for your you know uh, stress period yes sir and uh, philip do you have your parents around can i you know wish them as well hello i think uh, philip we lost uh, i think because of the rains in calicut we lost your connection so let's see if he rejoins uh, philip has come back from a rank 170 last year in the initiate paper he joined a, a branch in between then came back and this time he is rank 6 a very motivating journey and i think lot of us can learn from him that it is a good idea sometimes to be brave you will have your zones of self doubt everybody has it is okay and once sometimes we keep seeking guarantees but in real life there are no guarantees there are only brave decisions or you know no decisions so if you need uh, you know if you feel that you are not in a right branch or in a right place sometimes rather than suffering and regretting it's a good idea to take a plunge and this is what dr philip did and he got a rank 6 this time i'm very proud of him super proud of his achievement very proud of what he has achieved he has been a dams online student since his second year he has been studying off and on you know in between he had joined the pg then came back again studied in the final phase used the live rapid revision notes used the revision material and the test more aggressively and honed his mcq skills that was the summary and i think uh, there is a massive rains happening in kerala right now and uh, he has his internet connection is not there maybe let's wait for 10 more seconds uh, and um, uh, if he is able to join we will be able to wish his parents if we are not able to join i use i take this opportunity to wish his parents the best heartiest congratulations from the entire dams family the teachers that you know he's learned from the teachers that he is very happy about his surgery teacher his psychiatry teacher gynae teacher he is like a good student all the teachers are proud of your journey we wish you all the best and we congratulate your parents and family once again so dr philip i think we lost you right now but we look forward to meeting you in person very soon we wish you all the best beta